right, so good morning and welcome to Business and Biscuits. I'm coming to you from my bedroom because my husband had oral surgery yesterday and uh, I was not comfortable leaving him here at home uh, less than 24 hours after anesthesia. So I'll be working from the house today. Um, okay. I see some new faces, some new names here. Thank you, Ashley. I wondered who that was that said my name again, because <laughs> our account at work has my name on it. Um, but we are, um, we're excited to have y'all today, and I'm excited to hopefully learn some things today. Um, our business and biscuits this month is brought to you by Alabama Power. They are one of our chamber partners. And we are glad to work with them. They invest in a lot of good programs in our community. Um, we want to take a minute to go around and introduce ourselves, but we're also today we're we're going to talk about some best practices for staying organized at work and at home. Um, one of my personal goals for years has always been to be better organized. And each year I try to add a little something to that. Um, but I'll share a personal experience with you. When I graduated from college, I worked for a um, very well-known uh, worldwide company. <clears throat> and when you graduate from college there, they gift you with a, uh, uh, is it Stephen Covey planner? Um, and they send you to class to learn how to use it. And so it was very nice. I was just thrilled, you know, very nice, expensive planner. I got to pick the pretty little pages that went inside it. Um, and I started learning how to use a planner. But one of the things that they did was that they would check and make sure that you were using your planner. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if you're not talking right now, if you would mind muting your phone, we're getting just a little bit of feedback from somewhere. Thank you. Um, or muting your, there you go. Um, and so one of the things that became ingrained in me was that my planner had to look perfect at all times in case someone checked it. Um, and it was a very hard uh, lesson or habit for me to get out of. And so I've always felt like, what if someone checks my planner? It needs to look perfect. I can't have a misspelled word. The colors have to match. And so it was really hard for me to get out of that um, habit. Now, um, a few years ago, I found something called a bullet journal. Um, there's a gentleman named Ryder Carroll who was a an engineer. And he showed you how to easily keep track of things um, in a dot grid journal. So there are no lines. Um, millions of middle-aged women like myself picked up on it and decided to start drawing pictures and flowers here and this and that and make it, make it pretty. But what works for me is that I can make it my own. So I don't go out and purchase a planner that maybe has things in it I'm not going to use or is missing things that I need. I just make it my own. And I have finally learned at 47 years of age that I don't have to worry about the colors matching. Um, every letter has to be perfectly um, look perfect and, and not have a little squiggle on the end of it or anything. I've learned that as long as it works for me, it's a good thing. So we wanted to take some time, and I'm sorry, I've got a ceiling fan in here. My hair keeps blowing over, but um, I wanted to take some time this morning and give our members an opportunity to share some best practices on how you stay organized, and maybe we can learn some things from each other this morning. Um, like to go ahead and go around the room, and we'll introduce ourselves to each other. Tony? Which which uh, shuttle is that behind you? Is that one of the new ones or? That is Endeavor. That's Endeavor, okay. Yes. Okay. So one of one of the best. <clears throat> I was watching one of the uh, one of the new SpaceX ten or something mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 
So in breaking from tradition, let's start with our chamber staff because we usually get them to go last. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get them on here this morning. Let's start with Audrey Maxwell. Is Audrey there? <laughs> okay, uh, let's, there we go. Audrey's here. Hi, Audrey. Okay. Sorry, Kim. I was I was in the middle of something else. I apologize. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't want to make you guys wait till the end because I know we're maybe a little short-handed and um, in case you had to pop off. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We may have to pop off here and there as, as it goes. So I apologize. Um, and refresh my memory. What what am I talking about? Hello, I'm Maxwell. I'm the tourism director. Sorry, I don't know what we're supposed to say. Yes, we're talking about how we stay organized and we're sharing some best practices. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any best practices. I'm totally disorganized. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I see you using that Google Calendar a lot, so. Yes, ma'am. Um, I actually changed, um, I don't know, I'd say probably 20, maybe 2015, 2016 um, from using a paper calendar. And I did use a Stephen Covey planner uh, years ago when I entered real estate. Um, and uh, I changed from that to a digital calendar. That seems to be a lot easier for me to keep up with because um, it, you know, it, I can carry it everywhere, laptop, um, desktop, and uh, mobile device. So that's a lot easier for me to use. Um, however, I am sort of disorganized uh, otherwise, um, other than, you know, just things um, popping up on the calendar. Um, I do try to stay organized. I do try to file things properly and that type of thing, but, um, I am a little, I'm a little scattered, so I do need to work on that. Well, I think that we, we all, um, can work on continuous improvement with being organized and, and learn some best practices from each other. So, um, I am not as organized with my Google calendar as Audrey is, and I will frequently walk by her office and there are multiple colors and she has things all planned out. So. Um, so that's something that I could work on myself. Thank you, Audrey. Um, Ashley, Ashley Jones. Hey, good morning. Um, so I got this, it's called the Daydreamer by Thimble Press, and they're a, a small business in Jackson, Mississippi, where I used to live for a little while. Um, but it's got, you can break it up by what day it is. I usually just use a page for a week because my days aren't so busy. I need a different page for each day. So it's just at our staff meeting, I come up with what I've got to do for the week, events we've got coming up that we can only forget about. Um, as far as my office, I probably have one of the cleanest offices in the building. That's not being shady. That I think that's just a, just a fact, because I, I tidy as I go. I, don't, I can't focus with a lot of clutter on my desk. So if there's just something sitting at my desk, I'll get to it first, because I know I just want to get it off and get it out of here. So if you got a really uh, busy desk, I would suggest tidying that up because it just, it's hard to focus on one thing when you see all the stuff you got going on. <laughs> all right, thank you. Um, do, you do either of you have any, any news uh, chamber-wise that you want to go ahead and share? I do. Here, I'm going to put it in the chat too. I already typed it up. Um, so Angie wants me to share with you guys our auction. It's our first ever virtual silent auction starts this Friday at 4 p.m. Or not Friday, sorry, Sunday at 4 p.m. I've got the link in the chat. You can go ahead and check out what she's already got uploaded. Uh, people keep bringing us stuff every day. So probably check right up until Sunday. We'll be getting new items. <laughs> um, but there's still a good selection there right now. You can go ahead and preview, see what you want to bid on. Uh, Lunch and Leads is next Wednesday. That's going to be from 12 p.m. Be sure to go visit your favorite chamber restaurant and grab some lunch and uh, tell us who you went and uh, ordered your lunch from that day. And then coffee at the chamber is next Friday at 8.30. I think the weather um, has been a little crazy lately, so coffee at the chamber hadn't been as uh, stellar as we might have hoped because of the rains, rain our parade. But I think it'll be warm and I'm hoping for some nice, sunny, beautiful weather to see you guys at. Very nice. Thank you. Audrey, did you have anything? Uh, I just want to say the auction items that Angie has been collecting are amazing. And um, we have all kinds of things uh, that are great out there. So please go check that. 
um, site, there are experiences, there's, um, you know, brand new items that she uh, has worked really hard this morning just to get pictures of to share with everybody. And they're, they're pretty snazzy. So um, get out there and take a look at the uh, site. And if anybody else is interested in, in donating, we will still take um, some of those items. Um, in terms of tourism and things coming up um, in our area, we do have a lot uh, starting and um, the uh, events that are happening, um, you know, we're pretty pretty confident that uh, things will be um, proceeding forward. Uh, Chakalaka Park will be kicking everything off this weekend. Um, there'll be several, um, um, you know, different types of tournaments out there, uh, soccer tournament, um, softball tournament. Um, so there, there's a lot going on out there. So traffic might be a little bit heavier um, out in Oxford uh, near the Chakalaka Park area over the next um, several months. Um, and um, the, uh, we have another big event coming into town uh, this weekend. Um, there'll be a lot of tourists um, that will be writing about our area. And these are travel bloggers, um, Southeast Outdoor Press Association. They'll be visiting Combat Park. They'll be visiting uh, Talladega Super Speedway. And uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually some of them might. Uh, and the um, International Motorsports Hall of Fame, as well as CMP Talladega. So a lot going on um, in terms of people coming into town. Um, our hotels are seeing a little bit of an increase. Um, we also probably uh, will um, see a, maybe a change. Um, we're, we're getting indications. Uh, we have a press conference from the uh, governor coming on at 11 a.m. today, um, and they will talk about the uh, mask order. Um, so that'll be interesting as well. And that will impact most likely our restaurants. Um, they are doing better. Um, and so hopefully, um, you know, business, business will pick up for um, all attractions, uh, hotels and restaurants in the coming months as uh, the vaccines roll out quickly. So, okay. yep. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Thank you so much, Audrey. Um, I was hoping to get to Greg Pass before he had to run in, and it looks like we just lost him. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead. Amber, is that you? Are you where you can talk right now? Yeah, good to see I you. I am. I'm Amber. Hello. It's good to see you too. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Amber Wilson. I work for Brian McVeigh. Glad to see y'all and um I think for can y'all hear me yes can y'all hear me mm -hmm. okay I think just doing something every day you know I utilize my calendar and I know sometimes we forget to put that in there I have my sticky notes but I think having a clean space as Ashley said and like as you said being organized I think it's a whole you just each day have to make a few calls back, do a little bit of laundry, keep your desk clean. Because if you're cluttered and disorganized, then you're going to get overwhelmed. And then it just, I say that, and then I have people I work with and their desk, you can't see the wood on their desk. But yet they say, I know where everything, how? How do you know where everything is? But they do. So a little bit each day. Um, and and try to get as much done as you can each day. I know you're not going to be able to, but um, that's what I, and I like to at least have my phone calls taken care of, even if I'm like I'm with you guys in the car, riding up the road, just do a little bit here and there. That's, that's a great tip, just feeling accomplished like you've done a little bit every day. So that's that's fantastic. Are you in the elevator? Okay. Yes. Okay, I hope we don't yes, lose you. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That's a really great tip. And um, and we appreciate that. And it's so good to see you. Well, thank you. It's so good to see you too. And thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Um, let's hear from Jim Williams. Oh dear, what's organization? <laughs> <laughs> I would I would say the one thing that uh, sort of keeps me organized is is the is the Google Calendar. Uh, I would be lost without it. And uh, I guess the other thing, which is something I would preach but not necessarily practice, 
is uh, use the, the 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 rocks and sand in a jar principle. Um, put uh, take care of the rocks first because the sand can always fit fit around the the rocks. But if you don't take care of the rocks, you won't fill a jar. You know that's a really good um, uh, idea, and and that is so true. And and um, you know there are so many different books and classes, and I'm sure we've all attended over the years. Um, but but one thing I know that's always stuck with me is um, how do you eat an elephant, and that's one bite at a time. Um, then there's eat that frog, and there's uh, the, the fish philosophy and there's so many different things, but you got to take care of the big things and you got to fit the little things in somewhere. So that's a great tip. Um, let's hear from Max Bruce. Um, I, in 2011, I received my first leather bound um, day planner and I remember it was called day timer and uh, I was so excited. I never, I, I thought I've always needed a way to keep track and be organized for myself. In 2012, the company went out of business. They closed the doors and laid 300 people off in Illinois. And I was so disappointed to find out they were not going to be producing them anymore. I didn't know what I was going to do. And of course, there's all kinds of options out there, but that one was particularly just incredibly, if you didn't have one on a, on a, on a conference table and then it, People looked at you as though you weren't organized, you know, and you weren't just, you were uh, disorganized. But um, coming forward, you know, with the advent of the internet and, and of Google, of course, we all, we've adopted from Apple to Google, we've adopted the end of that. An organization is a group of people who work together and uh, they exist because people work together. And so if we're going to be organized, I think we all need to work together. And when we went to, when we finally adopted Google and uh, the G Suite of services, I was amazed that it wasn't just me anymore. It was uh, me and a group of people that would collaborate and, um, and work together. And it's become invaluable tool because all of us see what the other is doing uh, at all times. And if I have a question, I don't have to pick up a phone and call. I can just consult and see where someone is on the calendar or what they're doing in their tasks or, now they've incorporated Google Meet, which is a, a somewhat of a video conferencing inside of the G Suite. Um, it's, it's very impressive. I want us to stop meeting uh, face to face. I want us to start using this organizational tool to, to uh, and collaborate more online at our, at our work. We, at our, <clears throat> instead of coming in at seven in the morning, and looking at each other, let's all, I think we could all use more organization online. And uh, so that's beneficial. I mean, uh, I think it's very beneficial. I don't, uh, Siri is excellent too, just for quick reminders, but uh, it's better to stay with one in one, um, uh, stay in, in one little, I believe it's better to use one suite of services versus everybody having a different service. Then you can play together in the sandbox. That's what we do. That's right. <laughs> it looks like we're all sort of taking tips and we all sort of use a few things. A lot of people use Google, um, but not everybody does. But there are so many more options now than there were 10 or 20 years ago. Um, I'm a paper person. I love paper, but I also use um, we have Google services at work and we also use those and, and we have a community calendar that we use. So um, that helps us a lot. Thank you, Max. Yeah. Is that Miss Dale? I see. Oh, we've got you muted. Let's unmute you. Let's see. There we so, go. It was on my end. Yes. Good morning, Kim. Good to be with you. Good yes. morning. I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm right there with Audrey. I am an unorganized mess, but. Uh, to use Jim's analogy, I'm working on the rocks. So I think maybe my first um, step would be to get rid of some paperwork. I need to purge that uh, first. Uh, I do okay with the calendar, a little bit scattered, but as far as giving tips to any of you, I think you're way ahead of me. So uh, I'll just continue to work. Thanks for the suggestions. And it's so good to be with you this morning. 
Thank you. Well, it's very nice to have you this morning. And um, I think that you're uh, moving along like Amber Wilson and just take care of something every day and and we'll get there. So that sounds yeah. like a good tip. Yes. <laughs> it's so good to see you this morning. Thank you, Kim. Uh, let's hear from Shana Bussey. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good morning. How are you? Um, so I am a list, a list maker. I like to make lots of lists and just check things off as I go. Um, and then also in my personal life, my husband and I have synced our iPhone calendars so that we can um, keep up with what meetings the other one has at work and different things like that. Um, and then I also have this amazing reminder binder that I just love. I got it on Amazon for like $12. It's very, um, it almost looks like a kid's binder because it has stickers and lots of fun things in it, but it has pockets for you to put extra notes and different things like that. And so I just love that. Um, I, and if you're creative at all, anything that has stickers um, yes. or, or pretty colors, um, uh, a lot of us like. And so yes. that uh, sort of inspires you to get in there and use. Uh, Tim, did you just join again? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving my phone and get to the desktop. Okay, okay so. gotcha. Okay, no worries. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, anything, I love stickers. How many of us love stickers? Everybody loves stickers, right? Yeah, <laughs> we, we do. So so that that gives you the inspiration to actually use what you have because you are going to have a little fun with it. So I like that. That's a great tip. Thank you. Uh, Tim, I see you have a couple of helpers in the background. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I do. They help me stay very, very organized. Let me okay. tell you. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the secret. Having kids, yeah, <laughs> keep you organized. Um, I'm very disorganized, uh, but I do use Google Calendar. Uh, I also use like a, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a priority matrix. You break things into four quadrants based on priority, either it's high priority or low priority, and then uh, deadline versus do quickly, not do quickly, and it helps sort of on a morning when you have. 25 emails and you got to figure out where everything goes and helps you kind of reduce your stress a little bit by saying this is important but it's got a few days you know this is not important but i need to get it done right now um those kind of things and there's also an app uh called click up like you click a seat belt click up that i've seen a lot of people use that and i've dabbled with but it looks really good if you people who really like organization click up is looks pretty great you can manage projects with it. You can put things in all these different um, boxes. There's different calendar views. It's really great. I'm just not organi organized enough to to stick with it, I don't think. But but um, we all try. Yeah. And it's got a really yeah. good app, app too. So. Um, but and, but and syncing your, your uh, spouse's you know, like grocery list is, is the most important thing I've ever done in my life. If you can get synced on a grocery list on an app is, is pretty... Is pretty powerful that'll change your life i like that that's a yeah. very good tip yeah that's all i got awesome and, and i hear some of the same themes it's just we're kind of using different different apps or different programs and and we're going back to gyms take care of the rocks the sand will work itself out because um i i also i'm a list maker also um and I will try to prioritize what needs to be done. It sounds like we're kind of doing the same things, but just sort of maybe doing them in a different way. Um, so that's good. I think we are sharing some really good best practices here. Um, Laura Mizell, what you got for us? Good morning, everybody. Well, I'm actually sitting here with my planner and I keep a planner every year. Plus I do backup on my phone. My phone's actually my backup because it's the last place I put everything. And then every year at the beginning of the year, I buy me a notebook that has dividers and it has my business, my husband's business, our personal stuff. It all goes in there. All the organizations I'm in, each one of them has a, a tab. So that's where I keep everything in. Um, we do a lot of lists here because if I don't do the list, we forget. 
from running two businesses, chasing a four-year-old and a husband, um, it gets kind of crazy. So we do a lot of lifts and that's about all that we do. That sounds good. And, and I know um, getting toward the end of the year at, at work, we all get excited about picking out our planner for the next year. So, um, so that's something always that we look forward to as well. Um, but that's a good tip, just keeping everything. How many of you keep work and personal together? Anybody keep it, keep it all together because it's one book? And then how many of you keep it separate? I, I've tried keeping it separate and it's just easier if it's all in one place. That way I can just reference everything and, and not have appointments that conflict with each other. So, so that's good. Um, Amanda Grindle. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. I'm a, definitely a list maker. I have to make lists for everything. Um, I have to calendar my time as well. Like, Anytime I know I have something on my list that I need to schedule for the day, I make sure I schedule it on my calendar to make sure I allot enough time to do it. And I also like to have just my surroundings neat and organized. And I like labels. I'm a label person, so I make labels for everything just to make myself feel like it's more organized and neat. Um, and that way I know where everything goes and I like everything in its place. So that helps me feel like I'm more organized. Well, that's, um, that's a very good tip and, and making sure um, one thing that I've struggled with is categories and sometimes I will get a little too um, specific on categories uh, and then that way I find that I have three or four folders for the same thing uh, because I'm a little too, too specific and so um, that uh, that's a very good tip. Yeah, plan out your labels, prioritize those. Thank you, Amanda. Um, let's hear from Byron. Byron, are you with us? Hey, yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, you've got a little bit of a buzz in the background, but we hear you okay. Okay, let's see. I can eliminate the buzz. Is it still buzzing? Yes. Like, it sounds like a feedback from a speaker, maybe. TV going on. <laughs> um, no, for organization, I pretty much, we use our calendars that are linked to our iPhones. Uh, me and my wife have shared lists, um, grocery lists uh, as well, and um, just do daily reminders. And it seems to keep us going in the right direction. I like spreadsheets also, like for project timelines and stuff. Uh, a lot of times I'll just make those myself. To help keep myself on track with deadlines uh, for specific tasks and maybe to knock out in the day. So that's what I do. Okay. Well, thank you. That sounds good. And 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 going back to the G Suite of services, one of the things that we found that works for us at uh, the chamber is we use uh, Google Sheets, and we are able to uh, share information among everyone on the staff and update them in real time so we can all see them and we're not having to save a spreadsheet, email it out to everybody. You can just log in several people at a time and, and update those things. So we really like those as well. Let's hear from Tony LaRussa. Good morning. Good morning. So I guess uh, my, my approach to this is a, more of a controlled chaos type situation. Um, about 35 years ago, 3M came out with this great little thing. They're called sticky notes. I don't know if y'all can see those here, but I have those all over my desk. Uh, they, they're my reminder. The flashier the color, the more I see them uh, <laughs> there. So I do keep those uh, pretty handy. Um, but I guess the biggest thing, um, I use the Outlook calendar uh, a lot. That's, that really is helpful because I'm always either by my phone, by my laptop, by my tablet, something like that. So all of those are linked. And if there's something that's coming up, obviously it sends me up a little reminder. It has actually saved me a few times because I'm sitting there going, dang, I forgot that particular meeting or something and it's coming up in 15 minutes or something. So that's the biggest thing uh, that's been helpful to me. Of course, also, uh, my wife is like you, Kim. I think we've discussed this before. She is a planner. Uh, she will start literally in about September 
And she will go through and do reviews. She'll read articles. She'll do all this kind of research and everything else to pick out the absolute perfect mm -hmm. uh, planner for her the next year. I mean, she will spend hours mm -hmm. looking at Google reviews and YouTube videos and things of that nature. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have that kind of time to do this. So she really is kind of the planner in the family. So I really rely on her a lot. So probably the best decision I ever made was actually 21 years ago today. Uh, I asked her to marry me. And so that she really is the one that helps keep me uh, organized. So. Oh, congratulations yeah. on the engagement anniversary. Yeah, we'll, so, we'll celebrate actually 20 years uh, later of marriage later this month. So. Oh, well, congratulations. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a huge milestone. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Those are some really good tips. Um, let's see, Richard, are you still there? Richard Phelps? I don't know if he can hear us or not. Oh, he lost his, he lost his phone signal. Well, hope, maybe we can get you back here in, in just a few minutes. We'll try that again. Um, let's see, do we have... He can hear us, but we can't hear him. So, um, Richard, if you're able to get your phone uh, signal back, just let us know and we'll log you back in. Um, do we have Max Farley with us? Is Max there? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, um, Max. Uh, uh, Jessica Epperson at Freedom Riders asked me to sit in today. I'm the new community volunteer ambassador at Freedom Riders National Monument for those who I haven't met. Um, Organizationally, I think there's been a lot of great tips that have been put in the in the conversation so far. I'm a big believer in uh, inbox rules and using folders to sort my inbox so that I can prioritize uh, stuff that's incoming and uh, sort of just get a handle on on that that flood of emails that comes in every morning. Um, and I also use a physical calendar and an Outlook calendar, and between those two, I keep keep track of everything. So, yeah, thanks. Okay. So um, I have tried to use inbox rules, but um, I just don't know if I am, I don't know, technologically brain organized to do that. I've tried to do it and then um, then I forget where it is. And <laughs> so that's yeah, that can be tough. Me. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, so in my email, I'll get between 40 and 100 emails a day. Um, and I have a very bad habit of reading them and then I'll mark it as unread because I know it's important and I have to get back to it. And then throughout the day, I try to get back to those as phone calls come in or different things are happening. Um, and I, I wish that I could do a better job with my emails. Um, Richard says that he has lost his uh, phone signal three times wherever he is. So he can hear us, but he's not able to actually talk to us this morning. Um, one of the things, I use folded sheets of paper in my shirt pocket. I also need a clean environment to stay organized, he says. Okay. <clears throat> um, everybody has different things that they're doing, but it sounds like we're all sort of trying to come back to Jim's analogy of rocks and sand. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that's really good. One of the things that we're going to do for everybody on the call is we're going to give you a journal. Um, I have um, watched many videos, as, as somebody said earlier, Tony, you were talking about your wife. I've been on YouTube. I subscribe to the Bullet Journal um, newsletter to find tips and tricks. And one of the things that they recommended was to have an index in the front of your journal and to figure out a symbol that you put next to things as you mark them off. Hey, I've done this. It's something that I need to do. I'm migrating it to a different day. Um, so I use a combination of my bullet journal. And then I have one sheet of paper that I designed on Canva. It's front and back for work. And that is my go-to for work each month now. Amber is the sticker queen, Tony says. We'll have to learn from Amber and see if we can find out what kind of stickers she is. <laughs> um, 
But what I did at work was I broke down pretty much everything that I do that I'm responsible for into um, big categories, not too specific, just big categories. So there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, nine categories. And anytime something comes up in one of those categories, um, I make sure I mark it in that box. And that way I have that big overall sheet that I can go back to and say, okay, I know that I have to do all of these things this month and this is what I have to get accomplished um, or migrated, something like that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to give you all a chamber journal. So we have some really nice bound journals in my office at the chamber. It does have the chamber logo on the front, so you can think of us all the time. But it also has this really cool um, uh, rubberized sort of pocket on the front. You can um, actually fit your cell phone in there if you want to. Or you can put your business cards in there if you carry business cards and maybe you don't have a business card holder. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't do well talking a whole lot at the same time. Um, it also has a pin loop and in the very back it has a pocket. So if you have receipts or folded sheets of paper or any random notes or anything like that, business cards that you collect from other people, somewhere you can put all of those together into that journal and then you sort of have everything there for when you go back and you sit down and you review you know hey I met these three people this week these are the things that I need to follow up on um, and so we are happy to get those to y'all if you want to stop by and pick them up you're welcome to if you need me to um, figure out a way to get it to you send me an email my email is Kim B, K I M B, at calhounchamber.com. Um, I want to show y'all my journal. So I try to do something fun with journals. And this year, well, actually, I'm still using the journal from last year because last year was crazy and I didn't use my whole journal. <laughs> um, but I bought one with a rubber cover, uh, cover on the outside and it's an elephant. And so this is what I am currently using right here. It's dot grid paper on the inside, and then it does have um, a ribbon so that I can keep track of what day I'm on, and it has a little pocket there in the back. Um, I also love uh, washi tape, and so I don't have a lot of stickers, but I have tape, and so I'll put the washi tape there on the, on the outside just to make me feel like I've got a really pretty page that I can write on, um, and I own way too many different colored pens. Uh, Tombow markers. I, I love all of those things. Um, I, my hobbies are crochet and um, trying to learn calligraphy for several years <laughs> and trying to be organized. Um, I will say that I bought a journal that I loved the book. I love the paper in it. Um, I did not buy it local because it was not available local, even though I tried. Um, I looked, I called our local suppliers. They just could not even get it. Um, so I did order it online and it had a cork binding on the outside, but it had really nice paper on the inside. And so I felt good about, I have this one book. This is what I'm using. All my notes are there. I can go back and I can reference everything so I don't lose notes. So those are some good things. Um, we've got about 15 minutes left, and, and I don't know if we sort of introduced ourselves, so let's just take a minute and let you guys talk about your businesses and what you're doing. Um, so I'll start at the top left corner. Instead of skipping around, and we'll go back to Max, just tell us who you are and what you do, and if you got anything going on at work right now. Hey, um, yeah, um, like I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I have two Maxes. I'm so sorry. I've never had two Maxes on here before. Let's go well, to Max Bruce, and then we'll go to Max Farley. I'm sure he has more going on than I do right now. But we're uh, we are Sand Mountain Pest Management. Um, we're currently running about 27 trucks on the road in about 12 different counties. But I am uh, managing and um, keeping stock and taking customer orders over in uh, Anniston at 2105 Flintarn Avenue. So. Please come by and give us a, 
uh, look at us and you know let us uh, let us quote you or give you an estimate for pest control. Um, I know there are people that do it cheaper than we are, but I've got people that pay more than uh, than you'd be paying. So that'd be <laughs> just uh, keep that in mind. We'll give the chamber clients uh, the best price we possibly can. Thank you so much. Um, and um, I do want to say that Max Bruce has just signed up. Thank you very much to be an ambassador for the chamber this year. So we are looking forward to that. Thank you, Max. Okay, now to our other, I've never had two Maxes on here at the same time. Max Farley. <laughs> it's pretty unusual. Yeah, I, uh, that, that was funny. Um, yeah, so I'm the community volunteer ambassador at Freedom Riders. I just started about a month ago here. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things that are getting getting underway as we uh, sort of uh, commemorate the 60th anniversary of the 1961 bus burning here in Anniston. Um, my goal is to, to build up the volunteer program so that we can roll out visitor services uh, in the Freedom Riders uh, properties, uh, you know, in, in the coming months. And uh, just yesterday, I was spent the morning down at the Greyhound bus station with a group of volunteers cleaning out some of the materials that uh, have been stored there and getting it ready to be used as an exhibit space. So we have some exciting stuff that's around the corner here at Freedom Riders. And uh, yeah, just stop by the office at 1304 Noble if you have any questions or want to touch base with us and uh, kind of get a get a sense for what's going on. But really glad to, to be uh, you know, speaking to all of y'all this morning and, and uh, getting to know some folks. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Amber Wilson, are you still there? I think I see her ceiling. Okay, uh, Amber may be busy right now. Let's go to Jim Williams. Well, I'm Jim Williams. I've been retired, retired, retired <laughs> community volunteer, basically. Um, I don't have anything specific going. Uh, one thing I would mention, um, the, COVID, the uh, RMC is still running either three or four COVID units and one of the things that they have asked the community to do is uh, is uh, chip in and provide meals for uh, the workers there because they're working i think 12-hour shifts and uh, uh, don't have time to be able to, to uh, go and, and take regular lunch breaks um, my wife beverly has been the one that's been uh, handling most of that but if anybody would be interested in helping out on that uh, I would be glad to get uh, the information on that, or I think you can go to maybe RMC uh, website or Facebook page and uh, and find the uh, the sign up on that. Uh, they they're doing great work up there, and uh, uh, they really appreciate uh, uh, the help. Thank you so much, and and uh, Jim and and Beverly, I know like to feed people, and they also volunteer for Meals on Wheels. So make sure somebody has a good meal is important, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Tony. Sorry, I'm working and attending at the same time. I, I See, really, you're uh, doing like a spacewalk right now. Well, yes, you know, multitasking <laughs> as, as usual. Um, so a lot of things obviously uh, going on. Um, I mentioned to someone the other day, and I don't mean this bad, but um, for us, the pandemic was actually pretty good for my department. Uh, we, we did more business out of the business lending department last year than we have done in the previous three years combined. Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Now, that being said, some of that was due to PPP, uh, which is going on again right now. Uh, the government has decided to make changes in the middle of the program again this year. So we're scrambling, trying to get updates on what's going on with that. But if you do have a business, you haven't got a PPP loan, or you have any questions about what PPP is, and if you qualify for it, holler at me and we'll see what we can do. But uh, it's just been chaotic, honestly, since about, oh, last April, <laughs> uh, when everything really started to, uh, to, to snowball for us. So uh, things have really been very, very busy. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, Ms. Dale. Oh, you're muted again. Thanks. I'm so sorry. That's no, me, no. not you. I apologize. <laughs> I'm Elle Bean with ALD Federal Credit Union. I'm the chairman of the board there. And I uh, just uh, want to say that our people are there waiting to help you, to serve you, to do whatever they can, to give you that one-on-one -on -one attention and uh, great personal service. So if anybody needs any help, 
Bravo Credit Union, we're there for you. We have some really great rates. Uh, Tony was just telling a little bit about that, but business rates as well as uh, home mortgages and personal loan rates. So if anybody needs extra cash, just go see AOD Federal Credit Union. We also have a couple of new uh, credit cards that have some really good perks to them. So check us out. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Dale, and congratulations on your new role. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Shana Bussey. Okay, I think I'm unmuted. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can? Yes. Okay, I'm Shana Bussey. I'm the branch manager here at Linlock AOD Federal Credit Union. Um, so just going back off of what she was saying we do have a great credit card promotion right now um, you can actually choose your bonus if you're approved for a visa platinum or a signature card um, you can receive a dividend bonus of 0.50 percent to the end of this year um, in your savings account or you can get 50 dollars cash back in your savings um, plus the cash back rewards on both of those cards. Um, the Visa Platinum earns 1% cash back and the Signature card earns 3% cash back. And that's on any, cap, any, any purchase, no category. So um, it, both of those are really, really great um, credit cards with low rates. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate that. It sounds like you know your stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amanda. Hello everyone, I'm Amanda Grindle. I'm also with AOD Federal Credit Union. I'm our Jacksonville branch manager. Um, Shana told you about our great promotion that we're running right now, but we're also offering great rates on all of our products and we're here to help you with any of your financial needs. So come out and see us and we'll be glad to take care of you. Thank you. Let's hear from Tim Ross. Let me find Tell us what you do, Tim. Well, uh, I, I focus on uh, video production and video marketing. So we'd love to help you produce a video for TV, uh, online streaming or Facebook, that kind of thing. So that's pretty much what I do. Uh, just look at what we're doing right now. Uh, video is more important than ever and more and more people are digesting content this way. So if you could ever need hey, any really help, are. let me know. They really are. And if y'all have not seen the videos that Tim makes, they are super, super nice. Um, I think he practiced on us at, a, at an AOD <laughs> Federal Credit Union Lunch and Leave um, yeah. out at McClellan at South Beach Volleyball. And I was just blown away. Um, now, I was a little upset that he didn't slim me down, but that's on me. That's not on you. Um <laughs> But um, I just said the quality of it, it was just, it was just fantastic. And so, um, yeah, he does a great job. And Tim, I would like to follow up with you at some point about maybe doing some headshots and we'll see what we can do to, to get together on that. You got it. Sure. Um, thank you, Richard. Richard asks, what is washi tape? And so washi tape is um, decorative tape that comes in several different sizes. Um, and it's, sticks, but it doesn't tear anything away when you pull it off of the paper. So you can reposition it. Um, but uh, for those um, people who like to decorate and plan and, and do all of those things, you can, you can find anything from a solid color to, um, I have some washi tape that are the minions from uh, Despicable Me. Um, in the Minion movie, um, you can find cats, you can find um, gold spiral, just whatever you want, it's out there. And there are people who sell and collect washi tape. And so um, it's just a way to make you feel a little more polished and not rip your paper in half. Um, Let's see, Richard says he has gotten set up to broker PPP loans, express loans, and other business and real estate loans. Thank you, Richard. So Richard Phelps is with Little Pink Houses. Um, his information is uh, listed in the Chamber Online Membership Directory. Um, so you can look for Little Pink Houses. It's really easy to remember the name of that. 
and Richard works with people who maybe are um, buying a house in a non-traditional way. Maybe their credit is not perfect or they've had some issues in the past, but he can work with them and figure out a way to help them uh, realize the benefits of home ownership. And so uh, check out Little Pink Houses in the online membership directory. Uh, Laura, have you gone to sleep on us? <laughs> no, I'm here. I was reading. <laughs> no, I was reading my phone actually. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watching texts come in this morning. I sent out to a group text this morning. Everybody's responding all of a sudden. Hey, I'm Laura Mizell. I'm with Mizell Marketing. Um, we specialize in promotional items. So if there is anything that your company needs to help you brand to promote your business, please let me know. Um, it's been slow since COVID picked up or COVID hit, but I'm happy to say this week it has picked up for me. So I'm really excited to get back out there um, and get back to doing what I love because it really is fun. And I really do love helping everybody to promote your business and see what everybody comes up with. Um, the promotional world is a fun, unlimited world. So it, it's fun. Um, I also, um, I say I help my husband. I send him out the door every morning with Mizell Heating and Air Conditioning. So if anybody needs any heating and air conditioning, let us know. We also have um, a full line of air quality products that has become very popular with COVID. We have them for residential and for um, commercial properties. So if you need anything um, like UV lights or any of that for your house, or for your business, let us know that um, we've got quite a few commercial accounts that we have went in this year and put um, UV lights throughout their facilities. And it has really helped because um, we have followed up with one of our large accounts to see and their sickness from COVID has been little to none within, within the organization. So I, I hope some of that's due to those UV lights that they put in. Um, but other than that, I don't think I have much else going on. Um, I do want to say for uh, for those ladies out there, um, Laura, you know, promotional products are important. They have been for a long time. Anything that you can hand out to put your brand on is a way for um, your customers to remember you when they need something from you. And one thing that you gave to me that I have always held on to is a glass nail file mm -hmm. with your company name on it. And if you have not ever had a glass nail file, um, that is something as a lady you're going to hold on to. You're not going to lose it like you are chapstick. Um, yeah. Those things are awesome. And I still have one. I think Laura gave it to me three years ago. <laughs> and I just wash it periodically. And it's not, but they don't, they don't go bad. The only way you're going to lose it is if you drop it in the floor and you break it. Um, but and then they as, still a, as a promotional product, I mean, that to me, that's fantastic. Yes, I had a client that took those and it was a gentleman. Actually, he sold insurance and he told me, he said, this is not going to work. But his um, assistant wanted one. So he ordered. And then within three weeks to a month, he's calling me and he's like, OK, Laura, y'all beat me on this one. I need to order more. <laughs> so he was ordering nail files because as he got out and gave them out, he quit giving out business cards yep. to females. He gave out nail files mm -hmm. and when he was at events. So he was going through them. And he's like, I never thought that. But he also seen his return investment because he would get new accounts and he'd always ask, how did you hear about us? And they're like, well, you pass along the nail file. And I was using it and thought, well, I need to call and update my insurance. So I gave you a call. Yeah. So it's the, it's the fun stuff that usually lasts the longest. Yep. But I mean, it's not something that you would think about or, <laughs> or something that you would think, but glass nail files, I'm telling you, that's a great product. Um, let's see, Byron sent a message in the chat. He says, sorry, I had to step away. My name is Byron Medlin, realtor with Keller Williams. As everyone knows, inventory is low and demand is high. I am running specials right now, providing free home warranty with anyone who lists a home with me during the month of March and April. I will also, oh, I also will take excellent care of your friends and family. I can be reached at 256-453-4286. Thank you and God bless. 
Um, Byron also um, has, um, I think, four children. I could be wrong, um, but he helps with um, schooling during the day. And so they may have an online class right now that they are working on or getting ready for. Have I... Um, I, I, skip, I said I was going to start at the top left, and then I skipped around because we had two maxes. So have I reached everybody? Is there anyone that I've missed as we're going through? Or is there anyone? We've got about two minutes left. Is there anyone who has just any last last minute words or any, something that you forgot, something that you want to throw in there? Okay. Well, it looks like um, we've had a great time, and I know I've learned a lot of things. I took notes from what everybody said um, as we were talking about being organized at work, and I look forward to um, continuing that conversation at Lunch and Leaves. Again, our Business and Biscuits is sponsored by Alabama Power. Um, we also want to thank AOD Federal Credit Union, another of our chamber partners for having such a good presence this morning. And congratulations to Miss Dale, who is the chairman of the board at AOD. Thank you. Um, we are so glad that you were all able to take time with us this morning. And please remember um, that uh, one, we will try to get some information out to you about headshots. We'll see what we can do. Maybe work with Tim a little bit. See if we can get a chamber uh, price on the headshots. We'll, we'll try to work that out, okay. It's great to be a chamber member. Sometimes you can get chamber discounts. That's awesome. Um, and also, you all will receive a free chamber journal. And so if you're not able to stop by the chamber during the month of March, um, please reach out to me and let me know. And we will make an effort to get that out to you. My email address is Kim B. That's K-I-M-B at CalhounChamber.com. So thank you all. We were able to keep this to one hour and I thought that, I know I learned a lot. I hope that you did too and that it was helpful. And please all have a great day. If you need me, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks guys. Bye.